Rav messaged me yesterday and he said this is one of his best videos he's done in terms of like organic, natural, sick ass content. Full natty bro. You know what I mean? All right, sit back, relax, and enjoy. We got Rav the Avatar versus Season of Discovery Phase 2. I can't wait. Attention gamers. Previously on my oh, it's been too long since I've seen a rap video, man. Attention gamers. Season of Discovery Adventures, I started my journey as an undead rogue and enjoyed the experience of playing a new version of WoW on release. I enjoyed how alive the low-level world felt doing dungeons with the boys in my book club, losing crucial roles, and getting a bit too into the life of rogue RPing. I killed a goblin at the top of a watchtower which let me put rabies on my daggers and then I teamed up with a guild full of degenerates to be the first on the server to clear the Black Fathom depths before raid logging for the next 16 eternities in preparation for phase 2. Bef yeah, yeah, that's pretty much World of Warcraft in a nutshell. Okay, I'd like to start by addressing the twerking elephant in the room because you may notice I don't exactly look like the stealthing. Stab at it. Wait, Rav's on Spawn a Shadow camping. Priest now? Savage Rogue I rolled in phase 1 and that's because I discovered the priest. Something about the eternal struggle you are given between good and evil just felt so relatable. On one end you can yield the power of light, for example when you are waiting for one of those floating gazebos to take you to the land of the promoted cows and some tabbed out idiot has a case of the Mondays in front of you. <laughs> You can be the almighty hero and bring him back to Raise life. Up, yeah. Rav, just be honest to your audience and tell them you rolled priest because it's disgustingly overpowered. Come on, let's 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 cut the crap. Just say I rolled priest because they're overtuned and they one shot everything in PvP and I'm invincible and they're really good. In other totally not staged scenarios where a max level warlock is running away one shot from a gray mob, asking for help after you've already healed him like this is porno shoot caliber acting, only to then show his appreciation by trading you all his gold just like you scripted the scene out, you may start to lean towards the light, people recognize you and bowel before you as you are fishing, they see a trustworthy priest who has chosen good over evil and kneeling and praying together bestows buffs on each other, the light means you are a buffer, a bubbler, a healer, a true team player, which is why I chose to go full shadow. Yeah, because baby. when it's my turn to buff other bubble bitches, I can't resist the urge to leave them on read. When they insist, I show off how mature I am by using my character to simulate them singing into my pink karaoke machine until their mom sees what's happening on their game and unplugs their computer. If Blizzard is going to give me a move where performing it incorrectly can actually get myself killed. You already know I'm going to get outplayed by a mage and then deny him the satisfaction of killing me, because I already <laughs> did it myself. I'd like to introduce you all to oh Ted, Fred, and Hunter Biden because you are going to see a lot of these knee nibbling sperm cells oh, and if no. you want to heal. You'll just have to ask another priest because I can't cast holy spells in shadow form and so this is now the journey of Rav the Shadow Avatar. Yeah. Which began with getting stuck worse than a stepsister in a hole in Ashenvale. Are you yes, this stuck? is how it all started and no amount of parkour was going to fix it. I tried attacking local L1 hotties hoping they would just put me out of my misery and I could get off my yeah. knees and res outside of this Jump. proverbial washing machine but they didn't take the bait. I released Hunter Biden onto the local NPCs but they bugged out when they saw I was in the Ashenvale black hole. Oh my God, I unironically earth. put a disgraceful message in general chat that I'm not <laughs> proud of, only for this situation to get even more embarrassing when the person oh who ended up responding to my shameful SOS was named Raf Syndrome. I tell him to bring Alliance to me but the directions are unclear which is when I realized I could have just hopped out all along. Yeah, that's what I was trying to tell you man, yeah. Space Needless bar. to say I kicked that asshole because I'm a purple pill picker. Kidding I invited him back which turned out to be a mistake. You see when you have two players in a party where the first got stuck in a tree roots asshole for 30 minutes and the second apparently named his character after the first. They aren't exactly a killer combo in PvP. Oh. Oh no. Shadow or death, nice. <laughs> and after 20 minutes of getting my urethra smoke like a crack pipe, I gave in. Bro, bro, priests Defeated, are OP, bro. Embarrassed, What's going on? And forced to go back to editing a shitty League of Legends video. <laughs> but this was the turning point in my journey. I prepared for phase two, like Lube prepares you to take it up the ass with all my runes discovered, max professions, Rav. 
Rat Michelin Whoa. star chef status Whoa. and no one needed to buy me fish because a man once Whoa. taught me how and if you thought I was done there. I'm a virgin. That's right I sat in the Gulch of Warsong for 57 hours grinding reputation so that I could wear a purple quality bracelet at 40, which consisted mostly of RP walking around and a Wait a minute, is that why everyone was farming rep? Everyone's like, yo Zar, what's your rep with Warsong? Oh, I didn't... How did I not get this memo? Oh my god, I, I, I was playing Dungeonborn. Oh, okay. But at 40, which consisted mostly of RP walking around and I'm essentially so waiting for one of the 20 people in the lobby to capture the flag by himself once one team gave up. A true PvP experience. I had 20 quests completed and more ready to be started in my bags to kick off the phase with just an XP bust a nut festival as I was literally ejaculating sweat out of my grubby gamer fingers. Bro, 20 quests? But I wasn't doing Holy this crap. to speed run to 40 and see how fast I could run out of things to do in this game no. Exactly. I was doing this so I could get ahead of the pack for the sole reason of being a grade A unkillable <laughs> dickhead to every single Hell alliance yeah. I ran into. To avenge the events of the Ashenvale slaughter I experienced that night with my supposed disorder by my side. 360. Shadow or death. Yeah. Man, shadow. Wait, Rav is 38 already? There's no way Rav is a higher level than me. What? You see, I vowed from that moment on there is not a single alliance I would ever let walk by me without a fight. And while it may look like I was yelling demonic things to these losers as I killed them, from their perspective, I was actually giving the best piece of advice I could give. Like this poor level 20 gnome has no idea that he shouldn't be in Ashenvale right now. He should be on step 30 in Red Ridge killing condors. Uh, this poor level 23 could be safely plug? leveling if she was following a guide that told her the most optimal place to level while also min-maxing professions along the way. That's because Rested XP is the best leveling guide made for ah. WoW players. By WoW players? Featuring the most optimal routes for all classes, races, genders, you name it to the point where if you aren't using RXP, you are just wasting your time. Look at this human for example. Yeah. A level 25 far from his hometown. If he was using RX. That was a pretty pretty good at. Oh, he's still going. B, he would know that he would be accomplishing his goals so much better if he was following these straightforward steps in Duskwood. But clearly this guy doesn't respect his own time, so I only have one choice to teach him a lesson. And the one thing most people don't tell you about Rested XP is that you can start using it today completely free. You just go to my link in the description make a free account on their website, get the add-on and boom, you won't be getting kicked off ships you will be speed leveling with ease. That said with wow. launch coming up, I also needed to make some gold and in light of Blizzard giving GDKPs the shaft I had a brilliant plan to make a fortune before the phase. You see there's a quest in Ashenvale that causes you to plagiarize the work of 12 different authors and hand it in as your own to the teacher so my devious plan was to control the market for one of these pages, oh buy it out and then resell it for a 2000% markup. <laughs> it was a flawless plan and I could already envision checking my mail and seeing endless fortune. Yeah this plan failed miserably so if anyone has a need for 600 <laughs> copies of specifically page 8, let me know. <laughs> my launch was going well. I had completed my quests and I was on my way to the <laughs> crawl so of Razorfin to visit Howard's infected cousins when we came across a group of Stormwind simps and while I know I vowed to attack every alliance I came across, I was on a strict schedule and I had a fresh world buff so I had to make a decision. <laughs> but once we got into the dungeon we were set up for nothing but smooth sailing, like nothing was going to ruin my record breaking pace. He got stuck again didn't he? Yep. Bro, Rav, there's no way this guy beat me to 40, there's no way, there's no way. It was at this time where we did one final farewell to the fathom depths of blackness and just guess what the fuck happened. Oh, nice. Perfect timing. That said, I quickly wait, wait. Rav rolled a 96 and this guy rolls a 100. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that really, really sucks. That sucks. Co uh, family friendly streamer. That sucks ass, but that sucks butt, man. Oh my god. That said, gosh. I quickly learned that on any fresh launch of WoW, 
The meta is to elaborately assemble a group of efficient killers and to look at the 10 weeks of content that Blizzard just released and to try as hard as you possibly can to run out of things to do after 10 hours by spamming the same dungeons over and over again yep, so they can race up. to the raid and flex their parses. Yep. <clears throat> and while I bet this makes for incredible content for viewers, I had my own plan and that was to solo them myself and the strategy was simple, I would gaslight torture Tommy number one into thinking his own co-worker slept with his girl. I was thinking I hacked the system here until I realized I don't get experience if I make a scarlet shitter do all my work, yeah, and besides I, say, I didn't want to work. miss out on the true wow experience in the open world. Freeze. Sure dungeon spammers may be leveling faster but you know what they aren't doing? <laughs> Watching Ted Fred and Hunter Biden fucking knee nibble and Owen Hottie with res sickness to death. Not to mention the open world rivalries that are created during questing. For example I was just in this Arathi asshole of a cave when I first met good old Lambard. I introduced <laughs> myself Lambard. by inflicting pain on him. He asked me to sit still and watch my shadowy sperm cell do work. He whipped out his bitch bubble so I made like a German car manufacturer and said I'm outie. Long story short That's round one ended pretty with this little there. chode pally losing a run down with those little legs but this would not be the last of Lambard. You see a few minutes later I finished a kill when I heard him fighting. Sure enough he killed both Ted and Fred, leaving me with just Hunter Biden and this dude <laughs> as baggage. But he fled deeper into the cave and would be cornered which meant only one thing. <laughs> He runs by mistaking me for a player who gives a fuck and I call Ted and Fred out for their revenge. To no one's surprise he's getting shit on worse than a porta potty at a peanut convention but then an inexplicable emotion overcame me. In the final moments of his life, he was showing compassion to a fellow horde. I opened up my dark heart with remorse, willing to kneel and apologize for my violence, okay. and that's where I learned that's a lesson. Great. That no alliance will ever earn my trust again. Oh my gosh, he gets turned I start on. recruiting some of my homeboys from Brill, briefing them on the mission, as we chase a dumb fight like truly bronzy low League of Legends players, running through the entirety of Jurassic Park, which gets my fresh recruit cucked and pissed off, leaving me to deal with half the mobs in the zone and Lambard oh, too pussy to fight a real 1v1. So even though I escaped his grubby gamer fingers, I succumb to the mere quest mobs as my nemesis laughed at my demise. <laughs> I tried to recruit dude. more troops for the cause but everyone was too busy speed leveling so that they could run out of phase 2 content before the end of the first day to help me with a personal True. grudge but I was too petty to be productive right now. I made a tracking macro to find this piece of shit, I started questioning his allies, agreeing to spare their lives if they tell me his location, and if anyone disobeyed they would have to feel my wrath, and the second one of them fought back guess who the fuck was right there. I invited every horde in the area making them think this was just some measly min-maxing group effort of a kill quest but in reality there was only one mission. There he is. Get him. The final battle was on. My recruits could give less than two shits about my petty <laughs> drama so my plan quickly turned into running over to them and hoping that they will think any red name is a quest NPC and kill it and thanks to some quick thinking I had won the war on Lambard. But only with help, and even though I always yeah. had a small army to do my bidding, I knew I'd have to get stronger myself, yep. I'd have to discover my strongest rune. Yep. Now the whole idea of Season of Discovery is to explore this giant world and find this shit yourself, you know the true experience where everyone gets crazy excited when you organically find something by surprise because you didn't look it up before. Hey, Paul, Paul, come loot this! Yo, fuck it! Get scroll, dude! Shut up! Get scroll, dude! <laughs> so I chose to stay true to this spirit by taking it upon myself to discover the classic WoW Priest Discord where I looked up where to find this room. <laughs> but let me show you how easy it was to prove that I totally would have figured it out myself. Yeah, true. First you go to this super obvious remote location in the shittiest zone that everyone avoids because it sucks ass where you touch this burnout pile of logs. It's all like find someone who knows about this and my immediate thought was Jesus this is so easy it's obviously that goblin bibbly out in the middle of nowhere. He says something about the next clue being in a port so the only logical next step is to take boat to the Bay of Booty and you should come to know what this means. Oh beautiful. 
Bitch and Booty Bay is all like whoa 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 buy me a drink first so yeah really easy to solve that puzzle if you are used to striking out with freeloading women in bars your whole life like me. But she does put out, the next clue you perverts okay. and it's to okay. find a miniature titanic in bumpfuck wetlands cool which quest. surprise teleports you to the east coast, literally cake to follow the clues and this is where you need to loot something but there were a bake. Don't die here. I'm speaking from personal experience. If you die here, the res puts you here. Actually, if you're Horde, it's probably in Hammerfall. I'm a lion, so it's here. And you have to run all the way around or take res sickness. Trust me. The East Coast, literally cake to follow the clues and this is where you need to loot something, but there were a baker's dozen alliance and I'd have to put my trust in their kindness if I were to get my room. Rap don't die. Rap don't die. Oh no. Oh no. Rav. No, Rav. No. 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 Don't. You're gonna have to run back. No, seriously, whatever you do, do not die over here. <laughs> Turns out the closest graveyard is in an entirely different tax code and you have to take res sickness which meant 20 minutes of my life were just wasted and another innocent bystander was going to have to pay for the alliance's yeah. sins. My control. <laughs> oh, that's so brutal. Oh man. Anyways, find that's the so sexy annoying. elf on the shelf, kill her, loot her coin purse, use it to open the jewelry box on the dock and you have your room that I totally would have been able to discover all by myself and just look at its beauty. But where were we? Oh, yes, the adventures of open Wait, world questing. Wait, what, what was that rune? It was a frost bolt or something? What What the heck was that? But where were we? Oh, yes, the adventures of open oh, world questing spike. and okay. NPCs had some juicy drama of their own. What I want now are their heads. Kill them for me. I obviously was down to help a homegirl out with a small murder task and when a thrall dick on his breath brethren was in the area we grouped up for the hits. Afterwards I asked if he was rocking a rested XP guide as well because then we could just keep quietly questing together you know menstrual cycles fully synced up two boys open world questing the way it should be but he wasn't. Don't yeah. worry I'm out here doing God's work but with two levels to go Three. I was struggling to find any quests that were uncontested. Some good plugs. I originally tried phasing but these Darnassus douchebags had more layers covered than an Italian buttercream so I chose to fight for my territory instead even if it meant getting in a slap battle with a well, level 40 who learned like a tough lesson somehow. that day. Crazy. Not to mess with Rav the fucking avatar. Your Rav's dead isn't he? Oh disperse, okay, nice. S send out a fear here. Oh. Okay, let's go. Is this a 1v2? Mine spike looks wild. Oh, hell yeah, Rav! Yeah, that pushback's gonna suck. Oh, nice. And you may think I'm heartless, but I did have my moments. At one point I saw an underleveled hunter trying a quest that he would never be on at that level if he used a proper guide and I remembered back to my own hunter days so I decided to log a day of work at the Make-A-Wish Foundation and save him. Nice. We shared an unspoken bond, bowing at each other, saluting with scene. respect, and a friendship among enemies was about to be born. I knew it, I Psych knew bitches, it. I killed him dinged level 40 and unlocked the full potential of the- how the hell is Rav level 40? Wait, Rav not only is level 40, but then took the time to edit this entire video, which means Rav hit 40 yesterday, or like two, th three days ago, probably? Two or three days ago? Bro, how is this possible? He's using rested XP? Oh, true. Maybe I need to get RXP. The dark side I chose. But of all Jeez. the ruthless killing, some of my biggest problems were with my own ranks, contesting quests, failing to help, and the power of darkness had me craving their blood as well, I just needed to find a way. This is your emergency broadcast system, announcing the commencement of the annual purge, commencing at the siren, any and all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 continuous hours. May God be with you all. 
Yeah. <laughs> the PvP, I, dude, I love this. I love this event. Subscribe for more. It's over? Oh no. All right, that was that was pretty damn good, Rav. I just I'm kind of pissed you beat me to level 40. Like, bro, I've been leveling really hard. I'm level 34. I've been going I've been going hard in the paint, man. Everybody should get rested XP if you don't want to level as slow as I do. All right, let's look at my recommended. So we have Payo, we have Asmund Gold, we have Renaissance Periodization, we have Jaw Strife says Mr. Beast, Gusu. Don't know who Chris Chris Williamson, uh, Zaryu. Yep, Hydra. Yeah, sounds about right. Perfect. All right. Um. Okay. There's this. How do I get this out of here, man? Okay. Star Surge nerfed even more. Okay. I think we got all that. I'm 36 and I missed the first three days. Yeah, dude. I I'm having fun. Okay, fun. Every class in season of Discovery Two. I died. Okay, um, that's loud. Let's, okay, turn it down. Every class in Season of Discovery, part two. And Druid starts so giga chad. Dude, yeah, not, they got nerfed by the way. Thank goodness. I hope this, yeah, this is, hopefully that got nerfed too. It's ridiculous. Stay back. Oh, hey. Yeah. Bro, I don't know if you guys heard about a bug. Warlocks can, uh, like, have demons as their pets, right? What, what's it called? They, they, they take a demon to be their pet. And if there's another warlock in metamorphosis form, you can... Um, enslave demon. You can enslave the other warlock in metamorphosis form to be your pet, and the other warlock can't do anything about it. Like they're stuck. I don't know if they fixed that bug yet, but the the other warlock is literally stuck as your as your enslaved demon, and you can't like you can't do anything. The only thing you can do is alt F four. Like you're you're literally just following someone else around. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, priests are disgusting. Priests are disgusting. What about mages? Wait, why? What are these recom? Dude. YouTube, what the hell? Okay. Um. That, that's accurate. I wanted to see the mage one because mages are getting owned. Like, they need massive buffs, right, guys? Like, we just saw druids, hunters, warlocks, warriors re-rolling, and priests. Like, yeah, everyone's owning. Everyone's, yeah.